What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon and uh, welcome to this scheduled analysis of Solana. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Uh, basically what I mean with that is that uh, I made a schedule about certain cryptos I cover on specific days. Um, oh wow, all right. Uh, we got volume of, uh, oh nice. Uh, didn't know that, but it <laughs> doesn't matter. In this video, we'll talk about Solana. We'll talk a little bit about the move that just happened, quite a big bearish move and, and what caused that. Um, and uh, apart from that, we'll also take a look at what's most likely to happen now in terms of price. Uh, so let's get right into it. You can see that the volume has increased significantly with 43% over the last hour or something. Um, and that's all because of the inflation rate numbers coming out for the United States. Um, they were higher than expected. So that's bearish for crypto. We, 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 to be honest, yesterday evening, we already got quite a big bearish move with Solana. Got another one down from uh, 29.5 down to 27.7 in the last hour. Um, so yeah, I have to say market circumstances right now are very volatile. All right, so th those are not ideal circumstances to analyze in. Uh, but since it was scheduled and since I haven't taken a look at Solana in a long time, I still wanted to take a look at it. Um, if we quickly take a look at the MACD, you can see that it's increasing a lot, but it's 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 almost coming. It's it's at levels higher than we've been over the last uh, month. Doesn't tell you a, a very big story, but it, it does tell you something. Um, so what's happening right now is we drop down to this uh, significant key level within this bigger key level uh, at, uh, at, at, as I said, 28, 27.5. Um, and and I'm, I'm going to need to make some sort of a prediction, right? So I think we're going to hold this. I think we're going to hold this. I think we're slowly going to uh, get, get back up to at least $30. And then I think that somewhere at the end of October, we can also get this move. But that's, that, that's not guaranteed, all right? I think we're going to hold 28 and 27.5. Uh, first get up to 29, consolidate a little bit between, between 29 and 27.5, then get up to 30. But breaking above 30 is going to be quite a big bullish breakout uh, because then you would really need to close above 30.6. Um, and, and that's a tough resistance to break. So I'll probably be back with another analysis uh, either, at, either, either at the end of this week, at Sunday or something, or beginning of next week. Um, to see if that's actually still still very possible. And, um, and because of the market circumstances right now, I uh, feel obligated to tell you that um, there's still a big chance. I mean, we just received some, some bearish fundamentals. There's still quite some chance that we'll break through uh, this level at 27.5. So it's, it's just, just no, even though I don't expect it, I want you to prepare it. I want to prepare you for all different scenarios, right? Um, so, so if I'm wrong about that, if we get more bearish momentum, and uh, break down below 27.5, then we'll probably drop down all the way to 26 and consolidate a little bit between 26 and 27.5. And in that case, I'll also be back with another analysis updating that. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot say too much about uh, about the longer distance, longer future. Um, but yeah, I will be back with that. And uh, for now, this is at least kind of a, a recap of what happens and, and what's most likely uh, to happen next. So. Thank you all for watching and listening. I hope to see you all in my next videos. Let me know if you have questions and let me know what you think too, what, what Solana is going to do. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all for watching and listening, which I think I already said, but uh, take care. Have a great day and bye.